this has potential to be the most useful software that any streamer could ever use. Potentially. I'm not here to waste anybody's time. Waste your time, waste my time. No, I think this is a waste of time. But software is so simple that it has like four options. And I'm really just going to show you it because it's super simple, super easy to use. And there's a lot of a lot of use cases for it. Hundreds, if not thousands of streamers use a green screen every day of their life. And nowadays it's becoming more and more commonplace that people have them or people think that they need them when setting up a stream and setting up a camera source and, and whatnot into their stream. And green screens or blue screens are inherently like they take up a lot of space and you need to have like a certain requirement for the shape of your room or like where your desk is and you can't just have like a normal background because you need somewhere flat to put a green screen. Even solutions like um, Elgato's foldable one that goes up and down, zoom zoom, like that one is brilliant, it's a brilliant product but it still requires good lighting and somewhere to put it and if you're in a small room then that becomes extremely difficult to have. However, there's a solution for that and it comes in the form of NVIDIA's broadcast software which is free for everybody and works on I'm pretty sure every device that has a 2000 series up so if you've got anything from like a 2060 to a 3090 nowadays I think it's the most up to date one if you've got any of them then you're good to go free free download free to use and it's a fantastic piece of super easy to use software as we can see it's got options for microphone speakers and camera and it's got a noise active noise reduction removal for your microphone it has the exact same for your speakers and then it has options for your camera which is fantastic and that's what we're going to have a look at it does have four effects available um, obviously once you set up your camera source and your frame rate you can choose effects now there are four options we've got background blur background replacement background removal and then and auto frame. The one we're going to be looking at is background removal. <clears throat> so I'm going to start off by looking at background blur. You might notice that streamers that use a DSLR camera or their webcam have backgrounds visible but they're blurred. They've got a slight blur to them. Uh, this isn't how they do it. They have lenses that do it and that have a shallow depth of field but this can recreate it. Um, so I've got the strengthened up, I turned it on just to turn the strength up and if you look back here so I'm still going to remain in focus but back here this is going to become blurry when I turn this on like that and because obviously I've got my recording camera set to use this it um, is blurred at my active camera as well but as you can see I'm in focus and the background is not and you can change the intensity of this with the slider wow technology that's pretty cool i've already got an idea of how to use this and i'm going to be working on that hopefully soon the next effect i'll talk about is auto frame and it's a zoom feature for your face i don't think there's a toggle for this or a hotkey sorry um but it tracks your face when you move around. Very cool. The background replacement tool, I'm pretty sure this has a cool Pikachu background. Oh no it doesn't, I didn't have it selected. Um, this essentially replaces your background, it uses the same filtering that the background blur does and you can select an image it needs to be enabled before you do that. Wow look at this, background replacement, black. It doesn't work too well when you've got glasses on, so if I take my glasses off, you can see here that it's kept me in shot, but it has removed my background. And I can then pick a picture. Let's pick Go Pikachu, and he can be in the video. And then finally, the one I wanted to talk about, background removal. So this essentially just 
Pass you out. This is a green screen. This is a computer calculated green screen. And it's hella effective and it doesn't work too well with glasses. You can see on the chair here, a bit whack. It doesn't know what to render. Checked in my hand and it knows that my hand is part of me, but it's letting the light through. But if you have a flat chair or anything like that, this works like an absolute dream. And yeah, that's it. Links for the software will be down below. And that is pretty much it. Super simple, super easy. Piece of software to use. See you guys after.